Hello, and welcome to this edition of Tony Green Psychic Medium. I'm a psychic, a medium, and a channel. I have a radio show, Messages from Above, that airs every Wednesday evening, another TV show, Create a Life You Love, and this show. I absolutely love all of the work I do and helping people connect with loved ones on the other side, as well as answering any questions that they may have about their life. I've authored four books. Each of these books has been channeled through me for you. I know that in this life, having had three near-death experiences myself, there is so much more than we can even begin to comprehend when we're done. It's just a matter of getting through this one in the best way possible. We've all had questions about career, love. Is this the right guy? Is this the right job? What am I supposed to be doing with my life? Or we get signs from our loved ones and we want confirmation. Was that really a sign? Or am I just making that up? That's why I do what I do. It's not always easy, but it's always worth it. Today's guest is Amy. Amy's here to ask questions about her life, uh, maybe connect with some loved ones. I'm very excited to help her in this way. So let's get started. Hi, Amy, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm excellent. Thanks for being a guest today. Thanks for asking me. Ah, it's my pleasure. So let's get started. Do you want to start with a question? Or do you want to start with a connection? Um, I guess a question would be what okay. um, would be what I was thinking of. Okay. Um, what what next step should I take to be successful in my new business? Okay, that's a really good question. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is establish yourself. You want to give yourself a really strong presence. Word of mouth is the best way to do that. You've been a little bit hesitant to talk about it. I see you have been in a shell for a while. You're about to break free from that shell. It's like um, uh, they're saying a clam shell that opens, right? <laughs> and, and you're about to get out of that and be like, done with that. I'm back, OK? Um, in life, we all get knocked for loops right? And then we just have to get back up on our feet and we have to move forward without fear. You still have a little bit of fear around you. You are trying to be very cautious in your movements so you don't ruffle any feathers. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah. So in about a <clears throat> week, that is going to start to dissipate, okay? It's going to start to go away. And within a month, you are going to be very strong and you're going to be moving forward, and you're not going to care whose feathers get ruffled. You're going to kind of take your life back. You're really going to own who you are and what you're doing at that point. Business-wise, I see you getting a space, and I see this space is going to be perfect for you. I see you having this space in a... Uh, I see it, it, it's obviously in a building. You're going to work with somebody for a little while, but it's, you're going to work with them for about three months, three more months from this, okay? And then you're gonna find a space that's perfect for you. Now, the interesting thing is this space might be right next to that person. Mm -hmm. You might stay in the same vicinity, but have your own little space where you're doing your own little thing then, too, okay? So that's what they're showing me for work. Get a really strong online presence going because that is how people find us now. They, they get online and they start searching people. So get that strong on, online presence going and allow yourself to kind of boast about yourself online. It's one thing as women, we sometimes, we don't wanna be braggy about ourselves, but if we don't say it, who's going to, right? So we need to get out there and we need to speak our truth. Um, which is something you haven't also done in a very long time, they're telling me. Oh. In a way, you've been just keeping to yourself mm -hmm. and not stating some of the things you would really like to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, get some nice brochures made up. You're going to uh, have a brochure that has your modalities in it. A really nice brochure, though. 
um, very factual and feminine are the two words I'm getting mm -hmm. for your brochure, and I like those words. So um, you're an acupuncturist, and you are going to be, um, you know, when you first start, you, when you starting off now um, and moving forward, you're going to be working on a lot of people with, um, I'm getting they have diseases, diseases. So not just people coming in for relaxation, people coming in with a real serious reason for coming in, don't let that throw you. Just do what you have to do and make it work, okay? Get, get into it. Don't think about what's wrong with them. Do what you know. Because sometimes we can feel a little overwhelmed if we feel like, oh, this is really big and I need to fix it, right? We're just an instrument. We're just using instruments, right? Right. So does that help to answer that? I think so. Okay, do you have any questions about what I just said? Hmm. Um. Or we can move to the next question also. Yeah, I, I should, should have them all written down. But somehow we get on the show and I'm like, a little I nervous. don't know what's going on. That happens to everybody, don't worry. I can tell you I see a love interest coming in. This is somebody brand new, somebody you have not met before. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like this person is going to come in within six months. They might appear at the three month mark, but things might not start to happen then. But by the six month mark, things will definitely be happening. Um, <clears throat> I'm giggling so much because sometimes spirit shares a little too much information. <laughs> I don't need to see everything that's gonna be happening. Um, by the six month mark, you're definitely going to be really into that relationship. It's a good relationship. He's a really good guy. Um, he is going to be helping you also with moving forward mm -hmm. with career and also in the area of finances. Um, he is a giver. He is a humanitarian. Those are always super nice is things to have a man. <laughs> yeah, he actually, he's, he's, he's kind of sexy. I'm, oh. <laughs> and I'm seeing a lot of it. Stop so. looking at him. <laughs> I'm trying. <It's> mine. <laughs> I'm trying to stop looking at him. Um, I feel like he has lighter hair, not darker hair, okay? And I feel like he's really, you're not gonna know he likes you at first. Even though, because he's- I usually a little, don't. Yeah, and he's a little awkward in the way he flirts. <laughs> he doesn't really know how to flirt. I see you just looking at him going, is that a criticism or a compliment? And he just doesn't know how to flirt. He doesn't know how to communicate well with women. Which is good. That's, so he's probably smart. Yeah, he's, you could say that. I hear the word genius come in. He's Ooh. probably really smart. That's exciting. I yeah. saw a t-shirt that said, I'm a physicist, flirt harder. <laughs> so that, I, that fits. Maybe That's, I'll buy that t-shirt for this, for, for this my guy. future <laughs> yeah. interest. Um, he has, um, he has some of your same interests, but from a science background, mm -hmm. which does fit that intelligence statement also. Mm -hmm. he, he approaches everything from a very scientific point of view. Mm -hmm. So it can be sometimes, uh, for lack of a better word, a little mind numbing, but it's okay because then he, he doesn't push it too far. Okay? Okay. So I see him stepping in in approximately three months, but the, around the six month mark is when everything is really taking off. You guys are really connecting and everything is moving forward. He's extremely logical, which is also another really good character in a guy. And he has a lot of char charisma, charisma. He's very charismatic um, and he likes to go and do things. Hmm. Um, That's nice. His, but his idea of um, his idea of a, a fun vacation might be taking a walk up a mountain and finding interesting rocks. 
So yeah, you, I like that. That's me. Oh, so perfect. That's you didn't know that. No, yeah. I didn't. So yeah, that's, I'd rather do that than lay on the beach. Although yeah. laying on the beach is a close second. I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll take the beach every day mm -hmm. of the week. That's me. I would do the, the mountain Antioch. first, but the oh. beach is there. Yeah, I'm yeah. always at the beach okay. every day. I'll go to the <laughs> beach with you after we go to the mountains. Awesome. All right. He is very. Um, <laughs> He is very, very charismatic, and you guys are going to make a really good couple because you're both a little bit laid back, but then when you get bored, you go and do something spontaneously, and then laid back again. And this is going to happen smoothly? The transition will be smooth, believe okay. it or not. It Whoa. Will, the transition will be smooth. Now, another reason that this might take three or six months is because it depends on how you transition in your current situations. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things they're, they're also saying. Okay? Does that make sense to you? I think so. Excellent, excellent. Any other questions about? What, I guess, about the current situation? Does it transition within the next few weeks or more like a month okay. or two out? So the current situation, you're going to trans out, transition out of this within a month. That means any time between now and a month, you are going to be completely transitioned out of this. Now, you notice that the tone has gotten very serious now. Mm -hmm. So this is more of a statement rather than a suggestion. Within a month, this should be over. Um, you're going to find yourself realizing there's nothing you can do and or say. So just let it be what it was and time to move on to something different. You are going to have a very difficult time with the first step, but once you take that first step, everything else will fall into place. It's always that first step that really inhibits us from going any further. Once you say yes or um, in this case, like put the money down or make that first move, everything else will just fall into place. You've already found the place, but you could look and find another one if you want. You are going to find that the sooner you do this, the better it is for you and the sooner you're going to take control back of your life. Does that make sense to you? And the mm -hmm. transition on your end is going to be very smooth. For other people involved, not so much, but that's not your responsibility, okay? You don't have to be responsible for other people's feelings or worrying about how they're going to handle situations. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it's a little scary. Yeah, you know what? Um, moving forward always is a little bit scary. It's always, there's always the question, what if? But let's take that question and put the positive spit on it. What if this is the way it's supposed to be? What if everything works out perfectly? What if this freedom allows you to take off in your life? What if that? Um, I feel like this transition is going to be very covert or on the down low. But once it's done, you are going to be ecstatic. For the first time in a long time, you're going to feel like you have your independence back. Does that make sense to mm -hmm. you? Does that help? So should I put money down on the place I have? Yes. You could also look because another one is coming up, but I feel like the one that you already have looked at, it will work out. You won't be there a very long time, like five or six years. You won't be there a long time, but you'll be there for a while. It's again, it's a transitioning place. Um, so I feel like the sooner you make that final decision to do this, the better you're going to feel. The body responds when we're in conflict with what we need to do. Yeah, because I woke up really sore today. I was going to ask you about that. That actually should have been my first question. I woke up, I had um, heart palpitations overnight and then I woke up feeling really sore. So in your current situation, you're in a lot of pain emotionally. 
which is now transitioning to the physical body because that's what it does, right? And you're afraid to move forward, mm -hmm. but you're not happy staying where you are. So you're being put in a situation, that statement between a rock and a hard place is coming in, right? right. And you have to jump out before it closes in. But you're letting it close in and you're not jumping out from in between them. The sooner you jump out and just make a decision, you're going to be so relieved and so happy. Now I'll tell you, if you decide not to take this place and to try to not transition out of this, the same thing is gonna happen again and again and again and it's going to get a little bit worse. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be a month down the line going, okay, I should have done it then, I need to do it now. So there's not, it's inevitable is what they're saying. The transition is, the transition is inevitable when you do it or how long it takes you to do it can be up to you. But they are saying they will not give you past three months for this. You, the sooner you do it, the better, but do not put this off thinking you can uh, push it off longer than three months because this is one of those things by force or by choice. If you don't choose to do it, they're gonna force it to happen because they have to. What would happen? Well, I could, I, I would rather not go there, but mm -hmm. I could tell you in cases like by force or by choice, sometimes we find out our partner is cheating and it's inevitable we have to go. Mm -hmm. In some cases, they just uh, kick us out. Mm -hmm. Or when, when it's time for us to move on, we just have to put on our big girl pants and say, okay, I'm going. Put on our high heels and swing our purse over our shoulder and go, I leave you with love. See ya and move on, knowing that this was just a chapter, this chapter is done, and now it's time to move on. And you, I think if you look at all that has been going on, you truly understand you can't keep this situation going no matter how much you compromise. Mm -hmm. Is that a fact? Yeah. Yeah. So the sooner you get out, would you not be more relieved? Yeah. Absolutely, right? So it's time for you to say, done going out and just be strong in it have faith that you have guidance while you're doing it okay okay if you weren't afraid what would you do just move exactly don't ever ever let fear direct your life because then your life just goes down. Always let faith and the knowing that there's something better right around the corner direct your life. Always. So is there anything I can do to have an actual conversation about it not working out anymore? Because um, there's always a denial that there's any problem. You could, but it's I'm hearing same old, same, same old, same, same old, same. It's like a circle. It's just like a circle. You're running a circle. He's running a circle. Um, even if you try to have this conversation, it's not going to turn out the way you want it to. It'll be the same conversation that you've had four other times, five other times. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to move you forward. It's going to keep you stuck, okay? If you weren't afraid, what would you do? That's what you're supposed to do. Right? right? There's a parachute, it will open. And you're only jumping an inch, so you won't need it. Okay. Okay? Okay. So do you have any other questions about that? Um, yeah, I guess the house that, that is available is um, a lot older and not in great shape, and I'm just wondering if it's, it's gonna be good. It's safe, it's safe. Um, it has a lot of character. You'll be able to do a lot with it, and you'll be comfortable there. 
like I said, it's a transitioning place. It's not your permanent place. Okay. You said five or six years? No, it, I said it won't be for five or oh, six years. I'm it could sorry. Be five or six months? It could be. It could be like a year, maybe okay. a year and a half. It's a transitioning place. It's some place that's going to allow you to uh, get stronger, mm -hmm. gain back your independence, and then after that, you'll move forward. Uh, it's, it, it, it actually is a, a decent landing spot for now. It's not forever, it's just for now. Re remember, there's <laughs> this guy coming in, maybe he has a great place. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, I, I wish there was an easier way to uh, present the situation to everybody right now. We always that want to make it clear. Right. We always want everything to go so very smoothly. We always want everything to be copacetic for everybody. But the truth of the matter is that sometimes, no matter how much logic or kindness we bring into a situation, the other person is not on that level and will not get it. You can only be who you are, but that person can only be who they are. If you have already tried this step, then you have to know that that step does no longer work and you have to move on from that step to the next step. You can try to write a letter because sometimes when people read a letter, they understand the words differently. But speaking is just going to get you the same result that you had before. Okay. I feel like once you have moved out, there will be a conversation and it will be a much calmer conversation. And maybe a real one. Not much more real. As real as is possible for everybody involved mm. is the nicest way I can say that. You can't make somebody come up to a certain level. You can't make, you can't change people you accept them or you move on. That's it. So what do I say? Bye? <laughs> um, that's up to you. I would, I would say that for you, because you always, you, you, feel, you are feeling like you want, you need to explain yourself, put it in a letter. And that's the best way to do it. It's the kindest way to do it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Good. I think so. Good. Do I say thank you in a letter and then bye? If that's what you feel. Yeah. You put in a letter what you feel, what's true to you and what's best. And then you move on, right? Right. So, was there something else that you wanted to ask about, or did you have another question about this situation? Um. I have to tell you, there's an, an elderly woman with white hair here, and there's a guy that came in right away that has dark hair, salt and pepper, dark hair. So I don't know. Um, My dad, probably the dark hair. Yeah, he's been here, he stands behind this shoulder. Um, he's been standing there the whole time and just holding your back. Holding, he's, he's, he's like literally saying, I've got your back, you can do this. You're not alone, let me help you. Um, he is saying also that he, um, well, of course he wants you to know he has tremendous love for you and he would never want you to be in a situation that was anything other than loving and he is going to be sending you, oh, the cardinal, the cardinal, the cardinal. Have you been seeing a cardinal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's him. The cardinal, the cardinal, the cardinal. Um, he's showing me a cardinal, so that's his sign that to you that he is around is the cardinal. And every time you see it, just know he is there. He is not wavering and he is not leaving. He's going to be your strength through these next couple of weeks and months to help you do what you need to do, okay? He, it's really important that he um, tells you that, you know what, you're so, so much stronger than you know you are, and you need to start uh, harvesting or harnessing 
your own inner strength because you are, um, you're farm strong. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know why he would say that, but he is. He came from a farm. Oh, then that is what, there's a confirmation. Mm -hmm. There's a confirmation that, you know, saying that that actually would be a confirmation then. Um, and harvest then would also be an, just uh, another confirmation. Uh, we just have a couple more minutes left. So he, the other thing he wants you to know is that... Um, He is saying to root yourself and that you come from good stock and don't be polluted by bad stock. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense to you. And he also just again wants to say, he wants you to have a man that loves him, that loves you as much as he loves you. And actually this next guy coming in, the three to six month, He's actually going to take a great part in coordinating that meeting. My dad is? Yes. So he is going, he's, he's actually saying, like, he is going to help you to meet in some odd way. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's usually related to cars. Oh, well, there you go. But I hope not car accidents. No, it wouldn't be. It would be, it's, this is going to be a happy meeting, okay. okay? This is going to be a very happy meeting. So, Amy, I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. I hope that this was uh, very, very helpful for you. And after the show, if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I know you couldn't ask the really detailed, juicy stuff on the air, <laughs> but we can get to that off the air. Um, but thank you so much for being on the show and being a guest here today. Thank you. It was, it was such a fun, fun reading, and we will definitely be doing the beach this summer. The beach, summer. Sure. Absolutely. I want to thank you for watching Psychic Medium Tony G. I know that for each and every one of us, we have questions that we want answers to. We have loved ones that we miss so much. And we just want to be able to get through this life in the best possible way. Part of this is listening to your own inner intuition. And when you do that, you'll be amazed at the answers that come up for you. Thank you so much for watching and make it an amazing day.